Got a white boy on my roster, he be feeding me pasta and lobster He just hit me up on Tuesday like, what's doing, babe, let me take you shopping I told him, well, I'm a little busy, he said, damn, I'm in your city But anyway, it's okay, hope you have a good day, I'ma see you by day 50 Then I told him, you treat me so well, he said, cash out, Pazelle Matter of fact, scratch that, I'ma see you with stat, just cause you fine as hell And I told him, well, thank you, baby Please don't go, please don't go, I love you so, I love you so Please read my heart You may think I am just refreshing this copper, but ladies and gentlemen, this is a brand new formula, okay? This is totally different than her current hair, and let me tell you, I did not have any say in this. My client came in, and she had her mind made up. This is the color she wanted, and I was like, okay, girlfriend, if you want it, I want it too. Are you ready for it? OMG, I'm completely obsessed. I think I want it on my head. <laughs> up because it's all over listen we had a rough couple of months Katrina's cousin Maria the other one Puerto Rico Houston Florida listen it's been tough up to now the earthquake in Mexico uh, you know watch me revive this wig by dyeing it using the hummingbird by dye candy I shook up the developing and colorant and then I put on the beak when it was ready to be used even though I'm not demonstrating it here I do recommend that you have a shirt on or maybe even a covering just to protect your skin I do prefer the hummingbird over a brush just because I always have the dye at hand rather than dipping my hand back and forth into a bowl. It is super easy to use, super convenient. I freaking love it. And the results? Exactly how I wanted it to come out. From this to this, I love it. And if you'd like a hummingbird of your own, the link is in my bio. I'm taking my pink hair off today, but buckle up because it gone wrong. Yes, it gone wrong. Was this your favorite hair color? No. He hates this hair color. So the reason why I'm taking my hair color off is because this is gonna sound so weird, but I hate being in the spotlight in a crowded room. And I didn't realize my hair makes me the spotlight in the crowded room. So that's why I'm taking my hair color off. Obviously I'm nervous at this point, but I was so sure my hair was gonna be blonde after this. Just because my base hair color is completely blonde. It turns from pink to purple to blue and then blonde. My hair is going down memory lane. Yeah. <laughs> And then I think my hair glitched in the system because it turned blue. Like I have cotton candy on my hair right now. And this is my hair currently. It's pink, blue, and purple. But someone complimented my hair at the airport, so I feel way better now. Okay, okay. <laughs> Jump scare. 
color. After four years of having my natural hair color, I decided to switch it up. So I headed to Island at Angel Salon in Garden Grove. My friends told me that's where all the AVGs get their hair done, so I was like, perfect. I was one of those bitches that had to get their black box dye removed, and then I sat and bleached for a couple hours. You guys wanted to know what I asked for? I basically wanted the milk tea color, but with more depth. The best way I can describe it is an ashy rose gold chestnut with a black root blended in. You guys also wanted to know how long it took. I got to the salon that morning at 10.30 and left at 5.30 p.m. So yeah, six hours. But I think she was worth it. I'm like Kendall Jenner, but APG fine. <laughs> I was feeling a little spontaneous this week, so I booked a last minute hair appointment. I'm seeing Taylor Swift this weekend, so like obviously gotta look my best for Taylor. As you guys know, I usually try to stay away from bleach, but like sometimes you just gotta. Like it just had to be done, and once you see the end result, you'll see why. So the goal was a cool tone, dimensional chocolate brown. After bleach and toner, she dried my hair and then trimmed my ends a little bit, nothing crazy. I have like pretty much the same haircut I had before. Okay, are you ready for the grand reveal? Look at that dimension. I'm obsessed. <laughs> This is probably the dumbest thing that I have ever done. <laughs> My hand's shaking. What? Dude! You took off that much? I thought when you said you were just gonna do like a little duck. There's so much that's dead. Like, let's just get rid of it, you know? Look at all the hair I cut off. That's not even everything. Look how dead that hair is. It looks like a haystack. You know what? I ain't mad at it. Trust the process, honey. Along the journey of removing this color out of my hair, I did this color a little while ago. The purple is still pretty strong in there. The pink is also pretty strong, but we're going to be removing it today. I'm going to be trying this Color Fix Argon Oil One and Only. It's specifically for semi permanent hair color. I'm a little worried that this is going to turn mint under here, but we're going to have to wait and see. The product is now fully on my head, and within seconds, it started turning colors like the purple is now blue and green and the pink is now gone the pink was gone within five seconds of me applying this i think i'm gonna have blonde and minty blue hair i'm back <laughs> literally i am now blonde like platinum blonde with blue underneath it is a little bit greeny in some spots but overall it is gorgeous hate that it lifted my roots but overall you can't tell that much i'm gonna bleach them soon anyway i actually love this and i'm gonna keep it for a little bit because i like it so much so overall Overall, it was a win. It doesn't matter if you do everything perfectly because people are still going to have some shit to say. You could be the most perfect diplomatic person ever and say the most perfect, perfect thing that rationally couldn't enrage anyone. And there's always going to be one person that has something negative to say. Because some people just want to be angry, even if it makes them look completely ridiculous. Not long ago, I had a guy try and lecture me about how my job is not eco-friendly. He was a tattoo artist. One of the most wasteful one-use industries. Not long ago, I had another guy try to rag on my client's hair because she had fine hair. He was bald. Another woman tried to talk about how wasteful the hair industry is. She had pink hair. So this is your sign to just do whatever the fuck you want, honestly. Because it doesn't matter how good you do life and how much of an amazing person you are, there's always going to be some butthole in your comment section. Follow for more.